When it comes to surgery, doctors can prep you for the before and even warn you about the after, but no one knows better than the patient how recovery really goes. That's where Blue Fingers Brass Knuckles comes in. Local author Jennifer Martin is here with her autobiography this morning based on writings in her diary. Okay, so let's first, uh, the name of the book, Blue, Blue Fingers Brass Knuckles, where does that come from? Blue Fingers basically represents, I literally had blue fingers um, before they even diagnosed me with multiple sclerosis, mm. and they couldn't figure out why. Um, it was just something that happened before MS was prominent uh -huh. and very well known, so they couldn't figure it out. Brass knuckles actually comes from fighting, you know, everybody you know knows what brass knuckles are, yeah. so it's kind of fighting my way through all of my health issues now, with it, a positive attitude. It, it, we're talking about fighting through health issues. Yeah. Can you give us, like, the list, because the list is incredible. Like, one of these things, a lot of people yeah. just go down, you know, yeah. and you get fighting through all of um, Well, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 1987, just out of high school, which most people don't even get diagnosed with MS until they're about 35 right. to 45. So unfortunately, I had it a little bit earlier in life. I've also gone through thyroid cancer, and I've had weight loss surgery, which I lost 155 pounds. Oh, wow. And I had severe anemia, and they're not quite sure if the severe anemia is part of the long-term results of the weight loss surgery. And there's some other health issues that I don't want to mention on TV, but, but majority of that, that's what it is, along with going through other surgeries that you have to have once you lose 155 pounds or something more. That's what my book talks about. It basically talks about the patient's perspective and not what the doctors tell you. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, there's a lot of things that they know based from the book, but they've actually never lived through this stuff. Right. So I'm telling the patient's perspective and letting them know what they might encounter or what they might expect and give them the full view of everything. So it's, it, it's inspirational, it's educational, it's self-help. It's, you know, motivating, and I list pictures. I have pictures in here of the very first day I started from weighing 316 pounds down. Yeah, and you said that this all started because you were keeping journals throughout all of your different trials and tribulations, and this is sort of like the culmination of all that. Yes, I actually started doing journal entries for the book. That's how it all started. And basically, my daughter is the inspiration of why I did this, because I wanted her to know who, my who her mother is. And that right there is my daughter, Hello. She is adorable. She is adorable. Thank so you. I just started out, you just wanted to do like a little diary for her. Yeah. So she 